Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to Minecraft Attack on the Batim Mod Pack Episode 2. Today, we're gonna start playing with Forge. And today, we're gonna start making tools that will be very helpful and useful in the future. So, first of all, I'm gonna be looking for some lava because I won't be able to use this smeltery until I get lava. So first things first, I'm gonna start mining down or just until I'm gonna hear lava noises. Pretty much that's all I gotta say. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And let's start looking for the lava. Cause that's the main thing that I really need now. Oh, see some there. Let's kill that zombie. Carrot. Perfect. So we found only one lava. But that's enough for now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so we found some lava. Sadly, not lava lake. So let's just go back up and let's start playing around with this thing. The lava usually goes into this container with the sear tank and just right click it and the tank will fill up maximum it can take I think about four or five buckets just do not waste lava so just put four buckets and you just check the amount tab that you see first things first I gonna start melting gold because I'll be making molds making the tools and I'm gonna throw in some iron because I'll need some, because I'll be crafting a steel tools. Steel tools are better than diamond tools. And I'm gonna be looking for some lava again, because I will need to find some obsidian and I'll make a teleporter to the nether, because I'll be needing some blaze rods for making potions. So first things first, oh, already we have got some stuff inside here, copper tin and bronze I don't remember putting them in okay never mind we already got some materials but not sure how or why let's start making some iron extracting some iron so since I don't have an ingot mold yet actually I can make one all right so the way you can switch all these is just by clicking on the material and you can see that it switches which material you want now since i need gold because you can only make molds from the gold that's what i'm gonna do now an ingon mold so just right click on this faucet and it start pouring the material then wait for it to cool down and take the mold if you're melting nine ore you don't really gonna need mold because you can already just throw inside here for example let's take iron right now there you see it's gonna pour all this amount it's gonna be nine ingots in total because that how many that how many ingots it takes to make a block so it will cool down and voila we have extracted a good amount of iron instead of melting with furnace we get double the amount simple the way you progress through this game you don't really use eye diamond tools anymore because that's pretty much useless right now. The way you progress for this game is by um, smelting iron. That's the only one step. You just smelt iron again. And by smelting iron, you're gonna get some steel. Steel ingot. Let's just craft. I don't really need much. I only need two pieces. And let's just melt them again here. If you put iron here, you're just gonna straight melt into iron, not uh, steel. So be careful with that. Um, let's put all this stuff away, let's craft a chest for the molds and I'm gonna start crafting tool stations so where you can see where how to make stuff. So let's just throw this chest here for the molds, maybe I should just extract those material just in case so no material would mix together. Okay, so we got our steel, oh no 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 no. Damn it, I made a mistake. Okay, let's just throw it back again. Let's put two more just in case. 
and let's start making a uh, crafting station. So first things first, you're gonna need to make um, blank patterns. This is how you make them. Plank, plank, stick, stick. And you're gonna get one, which is sad because you need quite a lot of it. So take crafting bench, put a stitch on and you have, will get tool station and you will get a, th a final book. Materials and you. So this book will ta basically tell you what kind of material, what kind of tools you can craft, and what they are capable of. But we don't gonna need swords. The main tools that I will be using is the p simple pickaxe because it just costs two ingots to make. Uh, then I'm gonna make a uh, mattock. It costs, uh, I think, two and a half material, and it can chop trees and shovel dirt only. Basically, that's gonna show you what kind of things you can craft and what kind of abilities these swords have. The main tools I'm gonna be using is manilium tools because they are the most powerful and most strongest materials in the game. Now, with Tool Station, you can add mods, but you won't gonna need diamonds. I'm telling you that. I'll now show you why soon. But basically, it shows what kind of things you can add, like durability, uh, more durability. Mining level increases mining level. Uh, redstone increases the haste, gives the haste, and this is the reason why you don't need durability tool uh, applications. It will give you auto repair. It slowly repairs itself. It's like mending, but n it doesn't require any exp any XP, and uh, it automatically repairs your tools whenever you are. If you're using tool a lot, you can apply two or three of them, but it depends how many mods it can 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 be applied on the tool because each tool has separate amount of mods to apply. Now Lapis Lazuli will give you fortune. Quartz can be applied on, so on swords and it will give you sharpness. Uh, silk touch. This thing will give you silk touch. It's also mod. This is how you make it. Knockback, beheading, all that can you use on the swords if you really need those heads, but I'll be using cleaver, which already beheads many zombies. Also, you can add more, more more space for the tools, add more additional modifier slot. The first one is gonna be diamond and gold, then a golden apple, notch apple and the diamond block, then the star. If you're very rich you can use them and then it's a it's a thing but it's only for the uh, creative. Maximum if you can have six slots, luck. It takes only one slot Haste, of course, will take all slots. I'll show you how it works later on when you're gonna apply modifications. But that's how the tools are gonna be made. So let's just finish crafting all the tools station. So stenched in table, all you need to do is just add blanket and uh, plank and then make a part builder. And you can craft a chest. And you will need a chest for patterns. And just put the chest and again one that's pretty much it actually add all this stuff here uh, yeah this is gonna be tool station we're gonna upgrade that so we could be able to get different kind of tools let's put like this it doesn't matter really how you're gonna put them pattern chest usually when I craft pattern chest it already gives you some patterns but this one doesn't so I guess we're gonna have to make myself so let's get back to the crafting let's make some stenches patterns not stenches first thing I'm gonna need a tool rod pattern so it's already the first thing click next pattern it's gonna be pickaxe good good and let's make Let's see, and you're gonna need tool binding as well. Now, how these things work. So you go to the part builder, to this table that has four squares on top. So just throw a pattern inside. We're gonna make some tools out of wood, but that's only for molding purposes only. Add material on this lot. We got a wooden binding. The reason why we got stick is because uh, stick counts as half material. So if we have another half material costing, Thing, we can add it and voila we have a wooden tool rod and the last thing is the pickaxe head simple as that and let's go make some molds so put a tool part here 
and make sure you have a gold on the bottom and let's just start making molds. The molds usually cost only uh, two, material, two gold, so basically you need one gold ore per mold. And the last part is the pickaxe head. Good, good, good. And we have finished our molds. So now we can start mold making and steel pickaxe. So let's set the steel on the bottom and start collecting all the parts for pickaxe. It will cost us only two steel ingots. That's it. We have all the parts. And now go to tool station, find the pickaxe, put the tools in where they belong and that's it you have made a pickaxe that you can mine nether materials now because with diamond pickaxe you cannot mine cobalt and other material that will be needed for making manilium so technically you can throw all your diamonds away but don't do it because you will need diamonds for other crafting reasons let's store all this stuff away make this wood pickaxe as well just to save some space and just maybe throw it in your collection chest. That's pretty much it for tutorial. So let's start gameplay. Gonna make another chest because I'm running out of space. Just lap it on top. And maybe I'm just gonna throw all the material. And I will already know where to go if I need some material. Actually, now that I'm thinking, let's just make a quick farm. Actually, I'm just gonna show you where to get the moss auto repair thing. All you need is a bucket of water and cobblestone. So just put cobblestone in furnace shape and then throw a water in the middle and you get some moss stone. But you will need nine moss stones to craft a moss. And just put all the block and you get ball of moss. And all you need to do is just go to tool station, throw a pickaxe and this mod and that's it, moss. I already have auto repair on this pickaxe. So let's just go down. Let's go dig down the same way. Let's see what we can find. Oh, darn it. I really need coal. Let's see if I can't see any. Okay, I see here. Okay, now we're gonna have decent amount of torches. I can already hear some bubbling, but that's oil. Some redstone. Uh, yeah, let's just mine it, whatever. Some iron. And I can hear some water. Oh, straight into lava. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's other cave or something. But, yeah. Let's just mine this obsidian right now. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Um, so let's just go grab the... Um, good thing we found Lava Lake straight ahead. People usually say never mine straight in Minecraft. Well, some you can break some rules and don't listen to them. Of course, that is if you have ability to fly. If you don't have ability to fly, well, good luck. So I see a creeper poking here. It's really... Interesting to see when you can't see half of him, just face in the tall grass. Spooky stuff. Uh, so I got 20 obsidian. Uh, we're gonna start building teleporter somewhere near. Let's build like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the reason why I mined a little bit more obsidian, so before I'm gonna go inside the teleporter, and let's craft bars bars and glass panels so if you remember in the episode one I talked about tanks and XP drain so now I'm gonna just show you how it all works to make XP drain fill it up with bars and you get XP drain so how it works so just place tanks whenever whatever you want and pl place a drain on top and stand on it and it will start draining your XP and that's how you will be able to save a lot of it. So let's just throw away many stuff right now. So let's get a flint and steel going. 
Unbelievable. I already have no more left iron. I'm rushing too much, I guess. Okay, let's just get one iron from here. Good. And let's go explore. Now, my game might crash, might not, but usually if you have a weaker PC, it can cause some lag. Okay, there we are. We are in very open area. And we're quite low, which is good. The map is not loading much. But let's see if we are able to see any fortresses around. Guess not. So we're gonna explore a little bit. We're gonna start mining the expensive material. Now these creepers you should be avoiding. They are very dangerous. The moment you get close, they just explode. Instantly. So you have to be very careful around these. So let's just mine this material. Let's try not to get full try not to get into a lava. There's cobalt underneath this block here. So we're gonna need a lot of cobalt and a lot of ardite. I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Fuse wood. Oh yo yo. So fuse wood explodes. But I got really lucky. Uh, fuse wood, let's just collect some trees. This one is dark wood. It's really cool because it's bl blue. And it will give some textures for some houses. Now, I'm not planning to collect some quartz yet. Because I really want to get fortune first. Okay, let's just go exploring, start mining around. Collecting some material. And good thing about fortresses, you don't really need to get to the fortress to get some nether warts because you can already find them some around here with their warts uh, don't mine them directly because you get withered just break the block so you wouldn't get the uh, effect let's just gather some material it's really easy when you have ability to fly because you can roam around and uh, collect all the stuff so let's just get ghost wood because it's white and it's really has some, also an interesting texture. Get some saplings. Yep. Good to go. So yeah, I'll be pretty much gathering some material and I'll talk to you later if I'll find another fortress. Oh wow, I just flew straight into the fortress. Okay, so there's two of them there. I have no idea how to approach them. I'm just gonna YOLO rush them. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's just get turned into one. And fire will be no problem for me anymore. Since I'm a blaze now, I can fly around without being scared of actually diving in the into lava or anything. I'm pretty much safe right now. Super safe. Got lucky. Diamond, gold, more diamonds. Okay, so my inventory is pretty much full. Uh, 
let's see what we can throw away. Can't throw anything away. Everything is needed. Let's go home. So now, let's just put some stuff away. The good thing about the sword, I can melt it. Equal amount of the nether material. So we're gonna start making the tools. If you if you would smelt these blocks and put six six ingots like six of these and six of these, you would lose the material. Smelting the uh, ores, you will get much more. Okay, so we got twelve. So basically, you just get double the amount. Okay, so let's just start making tools again. It's gonna be just the same pickaxe as well. Make sure that it's on the bottom. And voila. Okay, and throw them here. It doesn't really matter. I can make mattock. Yeah, two more patterns. Shovel and axe. Let's craft the shovel and axe heads. And let's make a mold again. So make sure the gold is in the bottom. I already hear pigments coming out here. Yeah. Just let them explore the world. Okay, now let's throw the manilium stuff down. Make some axe head. I think it's gonna be two and a half material shovel. And rod. Like this. And we can have matlock. So now we're gonna need some cobblestone as well. So let's get, grab a bucket and this material. Two furnaces, shapes, and let's toss them right here. And let's make two mosses. Okay, go to the tool station, apply the mo mod. Now you can apply two mods at the same time, but you need to just put in each window. Okay, so we got some pickaxe. Uh, on pickaxe, I'm gonna put haste and luck, but now I'm just gonna put luck. And you can see if I'm gonna max this out, I'm gonna have a fortune free pickaxe. So let's start the. Pickaxe fortuning, and also I can add redstone for the haste, so it will make things faster a little bit for me. And you can see your pickaxe is gonna start looking pretty cool with some shades and colors and stuff like that. Now, Matchock is very good at mining. It's already really fast and I think you need only like two or one haste or two full haste and it will be mining insanely fast. Technically I'm just gonna be mining a lot right now, gathering materials for the future because now I got a pickaxe and it will be much easier for me. Mental. Yikes. Just get rid of these bushes. It's a material bushes, they give berries. Copper berry has value of uh, one nugget. So you need nine nuggets or nine berries to get a one ingot. Okay, now let's just go see where that lapis is. This is a really terrible mining area. Just go see where the lapis is. I'm gonna gather as much as possible. The lapis. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this water right here because I'm, I am blaze. And if I touch water, I'll take damage. That's the problem with it. So every time it starts raining, it becomes painful. Should be haste, should be looting one right now. Let's apply haste to the max. So my max is gonna be at decent mining speed. Let's see. So let's go gather some more lapis. Okay, okay, so. We're back, a bit damaged. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we have quite a lot of XP, so we can deposit it. 
And let's get out. Let's just throw all the materials in the chest. But at least now I have fortune too, so I have a chance to get more material. Even more. Let's just lap one. Yeah, this boy needs to haste. So, let's apply another one. Now is insane. Just like that. Getting some space will be easier for me. Of course, I try to not flatten the entire thing here. Because I much rather to keep it randomly shaped. And it's gonna be amazing stuff. We're gonna get this upgraded because we're gonna need more iron. So obviously let's just start cooking iron. Yeah, good enough, good good thing we have a, a lot of space. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. So yeah, next episode is gonna be about upgrading tools and tool station and we're gonna get grinding, get, get more tools. Basically next episode we're gonna spend a lot of time in the nether. 56 iron, need more. So yeah, thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next episode. My name is Rafe HD, and I wanna say thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.